Hi, okay. Um, right, so I was just putting um, the, book, the Tove Jensen books back that I just did a little not review on Tove Jensen before. Um, and having glanced at my picture book shelf, because yes, I'm a childless adult with a picture book shelf, because picture books are beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, I came across this one. So, I don't know if you've heard of this. This is, this is a really beautiful book. Um, I'm trying desperately to cover this little bit, which unfortunately got, um, got a bit messed up in one of our many moves. It does happen. Um, so this has a whole sort of mythology that goes along with it, which is described in the introduction, um, and it's wonderful. So the idea is that this Harris Burdick um, approaches in person an agent, uh, which wouldn't we all love to be able to do that, uh, with 14 pictures, uh, with just a little caption on them, and he says, I have 14 short stories to go with these 14 pictures, and would you be interested? So the agent has a look at these pictures, and the pictures are amazing. He says, yes, I would love to see these the short stories and Harris Burdick says okay well that's wonderful um, I will bring them by tomorrow and he leaves and that is the last he has seen of and the agent never hears from him Ben nobody else has heard of him when the agent starts making inquiries he's just vanished um, so it's a lovely little story and the idea is that Chris Van Allsburg who, who um, is the author or the compiler or whatever that's his story about how he got hold of these pictures um, What's so amazing about the pictures is just how odd they are. Um, and it's a wonderful thing to use as short story prompts um, or novel prompts. I will admit I've never actually done it, but I do think it would be a really cool idea. Okay, so that's a fairly normal picture, you know, the little boy, little girl, you know, skipping stones by a lake. But the caption that goes with it, it's called A Strange Day in July, and it says, He threw with all his might, but the third stone came skipping back. And it's wonderful. Um, well, how about this one? I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a Venice canal with a cruise ship there. And it says, Missing in Venice. Even with her mighty engines in reverse, the ocean liner was pulled further and further into the canal. Um, let's see another one. Oh, this one's good. Okay. A little door down in the basement, because basements are always spooky. And it says, Uninvited guests. His heart was pounding. He was sure he'd seen the doorknob turn. I mean, it's wonderful. You could have so much fun writing stories that, that came out of this. I'm not entirely sure why I haven't. Um, but then again, so me and story prompts, we, we have a very odd relationship where, where things that shouldn't make sense all of a sudden become stories, and other things that really should make stories. I and mean, look at this one. Mr. Linden's library. He had warned her about the book. Now it was too late. It's wonderful. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. Um, do you know what? If you write a short story from any of these ones I'm showing you, please send me a link because I would love to read some short stories written about these. Um, I know they've been used extensively. I think I actually came across it because it might have been mentioned in Stephen King's On Writing or, or, or uh, I remember it being something to do with Stephen King and, and one of his sons writing a story from the books, which was how I came across the book itself and decided to buy it. Um, but yeah. If you, if you get a chance to check it out, have a look, otherwise see what you can do with those photos I just showed you. Um, and tell me, let me know, and enjoy. Okay, bye.